Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and this is a special surgeon question and answer session all about five important components of enhanced recovery after cardiac surgery. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Judson Williams, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Wake Med in Raleigh, North Carolina. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Williams has performed over 2,000 cardiac procedures with many involving some form of heart valve repair or heart valve replacement. Dr. Williams, it is great to see you again and thanks so much for being with us today. Hi, Adam. Thank you for having me. It's great to be with the heartvalvesurgery.com community. Yeah, Dr. Williams, I noticed you are not at Wake Med today. You're at a conference. Can you share with the patients where you are and why is it so important for them to know about? You're right, you're right, Adam. I'm in Denver and we're at a Society of Thoracic Surgeons Critical Care Conference. And with that, an enhanced recovery after surgery component. ERAS is really revolutionary for cardiac surgery. ERAS stands for Enhanced Recovery After Surgery. And it's been applied to other surgical specialties for decades, but really only applied in a standardized fashion to cardiac surgery within the last few years. And it's an interdisciplinary, best practice, best evidence process for helping patients recover from a new heart valve or whatever heart surgery they need. Dr. Williams, I've got to share with you and the community. When I went through my recovery, one of my biggest challenges was an addiction to Vicodin for pain. Got to start this off with the question of what are surgeons and medical teams like the one at Wake Med doing to prevent that today? Well, Adam, thank you for sharing your experience. And certainly you are not alone up to as many as 20% of patients prescribed opioids after an elective surgery will develop some type of opioid use disorder. So this is one of the most frequent complications that we seek as surgeons to avoid. And that's one of the pillars of ERAS, Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, is a multimodal approach to analgesia to spare opioids. In our program, we've reduced opioid use overall by 40% and over 50% of our patients now are leaving the hospital with no need for an opioid prescription. Their pain is well controlled. They're moving, they're getting around, and they don't need those medications, which is a huge win for the patients and for the community. Dr. Williams, no doubt that's a huge win. And now let's talk about something that's almost counterintuitive, which is carbohydrate loading. Can you share for the patients what that is and how it's helping them? The carbohydrate loading is a, is a very interesting topic to surgeons, to anesthesiologists, and to patients alike. It really is the idea that by giving the patient a beverage, a carbohydrate beverage, two to four hours prior to their operation, we can stimulate the gut, we can stimulate the pancreas, improve gut motility, improve glucose control, and many of the outcomes associated with those. And this challenges that traditional dogma that a patient shouldn't have anything to eat or drink the night before their surgery. And, and we've really had outstanding results with the carbohydrate load. Dr. Williams, that is fascinating to learn about. And now let's talk about best practices or this idea of process standardization. How is that helping you and all these other surgeons enhance patient recovery? This is a great question, Adam. Really, standardization is the foundation of enhanced recovery. Enhanced recovery is an aggregation of marginal gains that result in a big gain for the patient at the end. And so by standardizing best practice preoperatively, intraoperatively, and postoperatively for the patient, then we are achieving those small gains at each step along the way. And preoperatively, that may be exercise and diet and cessation of alcohol or smoking. These are important preoperative components. Intraoperatively, it's the sterile environment, the best tools, the best technologies. Postoperatively, it's infection prevention, it's early ambulation, removal of tubes and wires and lines. And when we standardize these practices and do it the right way, the best we know how every time for every patient, that's really the foundation of ERAS. Dr. Williams, love hearing about big gains for patients. Let's talk though about a concern that patients have, which is infections. 
what is the ERAS approach doing to help mitigate the risk of an infection? This is a great question, Adam. And an infection prevention bundle should be a component of any surgical procedure, big or small, but this is especially critical for heart surgery and certainly for heart valve surgery patients. And it's the idea ERAS provides that platform for applying best practice and best evidence at every step of infection prevention. Before the patient even arrives for their surgery, they should be tested for MRSA, a drug-resistant bacteria, and treated if that is present. It lives on the skin of many of us. During the surgery, little things like how many times the door is open during the operation to that operating room may impact the laminar flow, impact particles moving around the room. All of these could lead to a surgical site infection or an infection of a valve or valve material. And this is critical to heart valve patients. And then postoperatively, Adam, it extends to early removal of catheters, wires and tubes that can all be sources of infections for patients. I, I really think that infection prevention is paramount and critical to enhance recovery. Dr. Williams, it's wonderful how ERAS is helping mitigate infection. Now let's talk about this idea of goal-directed therapy. How is that being used to keep the patient's recovery on track? This, is, this has been a hot topic here in Denver. It's the idea that we use the latest monitoring tools in an algorithmic way to know how much fluid a patient needs after heart surgery. Many heart valve patients will remember being very swollen after their operations. Having too much or too little can influence things like length of stay in the hospital, acute kidney injury, and other complications. We now have great minimally invasive technologies that can provide real-time data from the patient to guide an individualized approach, goal-directed to fluid administration for patients after their heart valve surgery. Dr. Williams, this has been extraordinary, learning about all these different elements of ERAS and how you're helping patients recover faster. On behalf of everybody at heartvalvesurgery.com and all the patients around the world who are watching this, I wanna thank you for taking time away from your practice and the conference and sharing these wonderful insights with our community. Thanks for being here today. Adam, thank you, my pleasure. And I'm, I love talking about ERAS and I hope we got some, some heart valve patients excited about enhanced recovery. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.